It's one week after people. The Petronas Towers soar over the deserted city of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. They're the world's tallest twin buildings, connected by the highest sky bridge ever built. It sits about 400 feet or so in the air, bridging across between the 41st and the 42nd floors. Quite a unique feature. In two separate attempts, human Spider-Man Alain Robert tried to scale one of the 1,483-foot towers with his bare hands. Both times, he climbed 60 floors before allowing himself to be apprehended. Now, only the sun climbs its walls. Seventy-five years of steamy tropical heat have corroded a part of the Petronas Towers where steel is vital, the supports under the Sky Bridge. The Sky Bridge is constructed primarily in steel, and steel is vulnerable to natural decay. The corrosion buckles a supporting leg, turning the Sky Bridge into a one-way lift. The twin towers, made of super-strength columns, remain intact, but their connection to each other is severed forever. Five hundred years after people, the Petronas Towers may be the tallest man-made structures still standing on Earth, thanks to an extraordinary quirk in their design. They were the tallest buildings in the world to be supported by a frame of concrete. Most skyscrapers around the world are steel-framed, but Malaysia doesn't have an indigenous steel industry. So these are unique. Five centuries of exposure to tropical sun and torrid humidity have weakened the super-strength cement. The collapse begins where the columns are at their most narrow, at the top. Cascading debris from one tower triggers the collapse of the other. In seconds, the monumental structures are reduced to dust and rubble. You have a progressive effect where both towers collapsed in a crashing heap to the ground pretty much at the same time. It's only a matter of years before walls of jungle entomb every trace of the once mighty buildings. <laughs> 